today we're going to try out Nile Air. Now Nile Air, they go to, well we're going to Luxor from Cairo, but they also go to Istanbul and various other places as well. So we're going to check out what the check-in process is like, the baggage allowance, the plane, and if you get any snacks on domestic and also international. All right. We're through the barrage of security. We've gone through three x-ray machines and now we can finally check in. So the check-in was relatively painless. Um, the allowance is pretty good. I'll put all the allowances below so you can check those out. Uh, we have an extra bag. You're only allowed one uh, baggage. There's no concept of um, personal item or carry-on. It's just one seven kilo baggage. But we have, um, oh, we have three between us. So we'll see what happens with that. So right now they're poking us on a bus there, and I guess we're going to drive to the plane. It's probably a little far from the terminal. So yeah, we're about ready to go. Alright, let's go. even checked weighed anything so it seems like your hand luggage can be whatever weight is what it is first class there a little big isn't it and uh, here's us uh, so our seats are there so let me show you what a normal seat looks like real quick <laughs> so we're on an air bus leg room uh, not too bad. I'm six feet by the way. You have you have about an inch more table. Not bad. Armrest is seat belts. Let's start it again, Michael. Please. Not too bad. this so we have a dinosaur apple juice and water oh they even have a plastic uh, shrink wrap over the cap to kind of prove it hasn't been refilled So we made it, despite the buzzing. <laughs> so we have a, another bus waiting for us here. Alright. What did you think? I'll wrap up the video with the prices and everything in a short moment. So I did a bit of a test. I have some fragile things in here, so we're gonna see if they're damaged or not. I'm the guinea pig, so you don't have to be. So then, what's the damage to the check bags? In the side, I have some liquids. They look 
It looked pretty good actually. Alright, and the piece de la resistance. A glass cooker. Don't even ask why it's in here. <laughs> but I didn't put too much padding around it. And, you know what? It looks perfect. Great. Not too bad with a bag handling it, old uh, Nyla. So the biggest problem with uh, these airlines like Egypt Air is it takes forever to get your bag because you get the shuttle bus, it's quite far, so they have to get all the bags off the plane, send them on another transit and then finally get them here. We've been here maybe 20 minutes and I think it's going to be another 20 more at least. So if you have a connecting flight then you need at least maybe 3 hours minimum just to make sure you get it. So it's a bit frustrating. And again if you have a connecting flight with another airline like Nile Air, Egypt Air, if that's your second one, sometimes you can't even check in with them on the website. They only allow check-in for certain destinations and they're usually domestic ones. If you want to check in for international, you pretty much have to go to the desk at the airport. So yes, it's pretty annoying. So if you're ever traveling with Nile Air, that is pretty much the only place where you can modify your booking, cancel your booking, because everything through the website just does not work. Customer service, you just cannot contact them. Uh, if you use the online web chat, the uh, Facebook Messenger messages, they all tell you to either call for 20 cents a minute, and you could be on hold for 30, 40 minutes, which is quite common. I never actually managed to get through. Or you can email them, but they take about eight days to reply, so you have to bear that in mind. <laughs> Okay, thank you for watching. I'm going to summarize the video really quick because at the start I said we're going to show a domestic and an international flight and then the subtitle said they cancelled it. Well, they cancelled our international flight but rather than put us on a new flight, they wanted us to pay more money for a new ticket, which is just absolutely crazy. In my whole experience, if you miss a connecting flight with the same airline because it's their fault, then they put you on a, another flight. But they gave us the runaround, they said, oh, call this number, the number, we were on hold for 45 minutes. There was pretty much only one place where you could speak to somebody, and that was in Cairo Airport. So we had to go through two layers of security to get, even get to the office. And the woman just did not understand us. She was trying to send us to this random address in a random location, and I just thought, I've, I've had enough. So we ended up going with a different airline. I did, just disputed it with my credit card company for, for that flight. And then they lied to my credit card company saying they, the flight is gone. You know, these are our rules. Absolutely crazy. But the thing is with uh, Egypt Air, Nyla, Etihad, Pegasus, you could have a great experience. But if something goes wrong, if something goes wrong, there is nobody to speak to. Their website is absolutely garbage. You can't even view your booking unless where it says last name, put your first name and then you can actually see it. But you cannot modify your booking. Even if you want to pay any differences, the website just crashes. Same with the phone app as well. You can read all the reviews for both of those. Everyone's going to say the same thing. So if you're flying with any one of these airlines and something goes wrong, then you just, you, you better pray basically. But. Uh, sometimes you're stuck with Nile Air or Egypt Air, especially in the Egypt region. But if you're going to maybe Istanbul or another location, then you do have other options. And I do not recommend Nile Air for this reason. And we're going to be showing videos on Egypt Air, Pegasus and Etihad very soon on this channel. So stay tuned for those. It does get a little bit worse, to be honest. But that's our experience with Nile Air. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and let me know your experience uh, with Nile Air or any other airlines. Leave a comment below and let us all know how it went. You know, maybe you had a good experience, maybe you had a terrible one. Uh, for us, we had a, a good domestic, but when it came to the international and something went wrong, absolutely terrible. Okay, guys, see you in the next video. Take care.